Hello there, Lee Dokar once again, and uh, as promised, this is vlog number three for the uh, a countdown to next Saturday's table read for the grim possession of Chesterfield's couch. Uh, and again, as promised, I am going to give to you a uh, preview of the cast list that I've selected. Now, I've worked with all these uh, fantastically talented voice actors in literally hundreds of and in some cases, hundreds and hundreds of, of episodes of animation and movies and or video games and or on and on ad infinitum. So I, uh, and when I wrote the, the movie, The Grim Possession of Chesterfield Couch, in many instances, I actually wrote it with these particular actors in mind. So uh, aside from myself, uh, who is going to be playing the Grim? Uh, uh, I will, uh, I will, um, I will just give you the, the list now. Here we go. So, uh, Sam Vincent, illustrious career, brilliant actor. Uh, just look him up on IMDb. Look up all of these people on IMDb and you will be amazed. I mean, the fact that any of them said yes to this, I'm, I'm honored. Sam Vincent will be playing Chesterfield Couch. Uh, the title of the movie is The Grim Possession of Chesterfield Couch, and I am playing the Grim who possesses Chesterfield Couch, and uh, you can extrapolate all you want on what you think the movie's going to be like, but uh, I'm not going to tell yet. Okay, so uh, uh, then after that we've got one of my, pound for pound, for pound one of my favorite voice act actors ever, ever, I don't care, ever, Tabitha St. Germain is going to be playing um, two of the roles in the the, uh, the table read. Uh, Babagitku and Cleanan. Nice Irish name, Cleanan. Uh, then, in no particular order after that, we have Ian James Corlett, um, somebody I respect quite a bit, and a great actor, and just super, super funny. And um, I'm so glad that he said yes to do this. That's fantastic. Thank you, Ian. Uh, and uh, after that, Andrew Francis will be playing the Vanisher. I hope that piques your interest. I'm not going to tell you what the Vanisher is, but he's uh, he's not a very good man. He's a he's kind of a bad man. He's not even a man. He's more of a, a he's a Vanisher. So there you go. Um, and he's going to be perfect for that. Now, Mark Oliver is going to be in the cast as well. He is going to be playing Old Rock Bucklebad, who may or may not be uh, the devil. So there's that. Uh, okay, uh, and after that we've got Colin Murdoch, whom I played with uh, many times with uh, opposite in uh, League of Super Evil. In other, he's he's just brilliant. He plays Clean and his father, and uh, another uh, and and uh, yeah. I, I don't want to give away too much because. He, you haven't signed any non-disclosure agreements, and then anyway, uh, okay. Anyway, after that, we've got um, Trevor Duvall. Trevor, thank you for saying yes to this. Uh, Trevor, I've worked again. All of these people I've worked with many times, and you know their work. Uh, Trevor Duvall is uh, going to be playing um, uh, a character named Finagle. <laughs> uh, not gonna tell you. Finagle. I'm not going to tell you anything about this. I just want you to, you know, we're trying to raise interest and eventually money to make the movie. Uh, after that, we have Richard Ian Cox. He's super funny. Um, thank you, Richard, for saying yes to the, Thank you all to all of the cast for saying yes to participating in this and helping my dream come true. Richard Ian Cox is going to be uh, participating as well. Uh, and uh, after that, the vocal stylings of the ever talented and the lovely Shannon Shan Kent, uh, who will be playing Angel Vina, a child that has the power to uh, enchant with the power with the with the power of her of her song, she can enchant anyone with the power of song, and that's so much like life imitating art imitating life because Shannon, you do that in real life. Uh, after that, we've got Brian Drummond, again, pound for pound, one of the most versatile voice actors that I know. Amazing, amazing, just 
There's nothing that this guy can't do. And he will be playing a pivotal role in this. Uh, the name is Mr. Blackroot. And you don't need to know anything other than that. But I hope it piques your interest. I hope all this piques your interest. It would be really embarrassing if I did all this for nothing. And nobody cared. That would suck. Okay. Anyway, um, after, <laughs> after that, we've got the Bucklebad Brothers. Now, the Bucklebad Brothers are three of the most monstrous, um, evil uh, people. Is this thing even on? It's not even on, is it? Oh, it is on. <laughs> I'll edit that out. No, I won't. I'm too lazy. Uh, the Bucklebad Brothers. <laughs> that was ridiculous. The Bucklebad Brothers, Mr. One, Mr. Two, and Mr. Three are played by uh, the three Dobson brothers. Michael Dobson playing Mr. One, the oldest, half monster. Uh, Paul Dobson, the middle, playing Mr. Two, half wolf. And Brian Dobson, the youngest Dobson, uh, playing Mr. Three, half ogre, who's a bit like a um, uh, uh, football hooligan, isn't he? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so there's that. Then we also have Reese Haynes. Reese is the COO to my company, a former student of mine, a gung ho young funny guy, and I just want to give him a shot at uh, having fun and playing. Uh, and he's very, very, very funny, um, and a good friend of mine as well. So, hi, Reese. Uh, welcome aboard. And uh, another former student of mine who is as well a very talented young actor in his own right, Nick Taggart. So uh, Nick, welcome aboard. Uh, I hope this is going to prove to be a fun experience for you and Reese, you as well. Welcome aboard the uh, the talent train because I'm, I'm about to introduce you guys to some of the most fascinating people and the most the greatest talents. Now this is only movie number one. There's still movie number two and movie number three. Movie number two is almost finished writing. I uh, it, because uh, as I said, it was a very long movie. I had to cut it in half. So movie number two is basically already already written. I just have to have to do a recap in the beginning of that, and then that's done. And then um, and then movie number three. So next Saturday is the table read. I'm so excited. A little nervous, like I said in the first vlog. Trying to be prepared, like I said in the second vlog today, as promised giving you the uh, list of all the people that are going to be involved. So, speaking of people that uh, go on and on too long, I'm going to sign off now because I'm even boring myself. So, uh, tune in tomorrow for vlog number four uh, for the countdown to the table read for the grim possession of Chesterfield Couch. Go tell the world. I need your help.